So here we have a pretty complex chart of accounts. And it's because from year to year in the classic system, the person ever so slightly tweaked the names of the income categories and expense categories and expense items. As a, for instance, like we come over here, we see they have 4A books and regalia, 4A fundraising, 4A Detroit Temple Tour, 4A fundraising, but they're all slightly different. Like this one has a colon on the end, this one doesn't. And they changed the number. One year it was 4A, one year it was 4B. It just wasn't. Now here's fundraising here, 4B. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a winner. Oh, and if you look in the fourth column, Mark, where it's got the arrow too, you can see some of them have never been used. They never, never been took used. a payment. They never took income or expenses on it. That's yep. what that is a clue for in that fourth column. Yeah. So what Silva's talking about here, if you don't see this box with the arrow to the right, that means there are no transactions in that account. It's never been used. And so the first thing I can do is let's say this is a redundant one. If I click the pencil on it and there are no transactions in it, I can delete it. We're just going to go through, click delete, confirm that, get rid of it. This 4B fundraising never got used. It's empty. So I'm going to delete it. This transfer from Savage for specific never got used. Get rid of it. Don't need it. Now, dues and fees, you can't do transfers. Those are special accounts. Now, I've got a fundraising here. I've got lots of stuff under like entertainment, books, regalia, fundraising, temple tour, installation. They're all 4A. I've got three 4As, one, two, three, three 4Bs, some repeated numbers. So I need to go through and get these in an appropriate order. So that one's going to be 4B now. And I'm going to take the colon off the end, clean it up. I'm going to take the colons off the ends of all of these as I go. So that's 4A. That needs to be for maybe C. And eventually, I'm going to get these to a point where I'm 4A, 4B, 4C, 4D, 4E, 4F so that they all have separate account names that don't start with the same number on the front. I'm not gonna go through all of them. I think you get the idea. Over here, but I'm also see here, I've got some others and some others. These might need to be combined. I can quickly look at what the transactions are here. I'm not gonna pull this up because this is a real lodge with real data. I haven't anonymized it yet. There might be names in there but you would click the view transactions and view transactions. And if they're really the same thing, we're going to pretend I looked at the two of them and they really are. I'm going to rename this one. I'm going to put keep in parentheses. That's just a note to me that I'm keeping that account. This one's going away. So I'm going to transfer all of the transactions to that other that I labeled keep. I'm going to move them. They've all been moved. So now this one has no transactions to move, which means there are no transactions, and I can delete it. And that's how we start to consolidate our chart of accounts. So over here, I've got two grand lodge per capita, 
three different ways. We don't need that. So I'm going to edit this parent account and simplify it. Space dash space Grand Lodge. I'm putting keep in parentheses. Later on, I would go back and edit out the keep and the names. And I'm going to name this one also that I'm keeping this sub account. So then I would take all the transactions that are in this one that I want to get rid of and move them to the account that I'm keeping. So now there are no transactions here. I can delete this account. And that parent account now has nothing inside of it. I can delete the parent account also. I've got another dupe because they went to zero. They went to number dot instead of number dash. So I'm going to transfer all the transactions out of this one to the one that I'm keeping, move the transactions. Then delete the sub account. And then delete the unused parent account And now I only have, have one account now for those uh, per capita to Grand Lodge. And that's how I would start to consolidate all of the accounts that are in the system that have duplicates because they use slightly different names. Like these three, they're really the same thing, but they had slightly different spacing or one had a colon and one didn't. It's, but they're really, they're the same thing. These three zero nines, they're the same thing. These two tens, they're the same thing. And so I would just go through that process that I just did, just keep doing that until I scrunch this down and get to fewer accounts on the chart of accounts. If you have, a table that looks like this, a chart of accounts that looks like this, like I say, open a support ticket. We will help you through the process of consolidating down that chart of accounts and making sense, sense out of it. We didn't do this to make your life harder. In the long term, we did this work to actually make the system more flexible, more powerful, so we can do more things for you.